So Haisiamos is a bad, uh, bad remedy. I wanted to say bad things about Haisiamos. So I was punished. So don't say bad things about Haisiamos people. And I, by the way, I have to say a few things concerning the idea. I have seen some homeopaths. Um, how can I say, um, accusing others with their remedy. <laughs> if they know that this is the remedy they have taken, huh? they accuse the person. They say, oh, yes, Ayosiamos, you know, or Platina, <laughs> Platina. Men give information, you know, she's platina. <laughs> she, she's platina. <laughs> Great, don't give it to her. <laughs> like Kasiamos, it's not, it's not, it's a difficult situation psychologically. They are really obsessive jealous, they don't trust anybody, they feel that everybody most probably is plotting against them or maybe they try to poison them, etc., etc. This is uh, the turn which takes this Hayosiamos uh, mentality. It has to do a lot with the sexual instinct and uh, you can say that is one of these remedies which are perverted sexually. Sexual perversions. talks about, I mean the perversion eh, will take a turn where the person has to talk about, um, about things which are disgusting, disgusting. For instance, for instance, they they talk about feces, urine, eh? stool, urine. They will talk about it and uh, also people who are not in an as asylum, <laughs> they are quite all right. I mean, <laughs> they, they, they would like to deal with this stool. They have a stool and then they touch the stool and they play with the stool. <laughs> it's terrible. I mean, I, 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 have, I have this um, experience which I have seen in a patient. I mean, and this is terrible. It is very disgusting. Disgusting. And uh, this disgusting habit, they can be very disgusting habits in, in any case. And... Uh, Another case I've seen it just taken uh, from uh, wounds and eat them. Huh? What? I mean, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But they also like to talk about these things, about sex. They would like to talk about sexual things and about mm, stools and urine, etc. And they like, they are kind of, how can I say, a woman, for instance, okay, if she goes to the bathroom to have stools, she closes the door. This is natural. For a Hayosiamos, <laughs> it's different. She will leave the door open on purpose. That the man with the, she will look at her. You, you, you understand? Huh? 
I mean, all this, all this idea, eh? playing with these two. Uh, so this is what I call obsession. Obsession. Then they're obsessed. You know, they, they may. There is something inside them which makes them do things obsessing, obsessing, talking, uh, counting, or, or, or doing like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They, get, they go like that. They are upset. They are upset, and you, they look, you know, and then you see, and then they have an epileptic fit. They go down and go to uh, epilepsy. Also, they expose, they expose the person. They are the exhibitionist. Exhibitionist, right? They will open, you know, the men especially, and uh, expose the genitals publicly. I remember a case uh, was telling us by in... Uh, in uh, India, when I was in India, by one of uh, <coughs> our teachers in the school was a very old man with a lot of experience. And he was telling about Haisiamos, he had a case, he was treating, mental case, he was treating, and without success. And he said uh, one day <coughs> in Calcutta, the man got up into a high wall Oh, there was a wall. He climbed there and waited for the doctor to pass underneath. Jump. No, <laughs> not jump. <laughs> and, <laughs> and while the doctor was passing, he urinated. <laughs> so he got. <laughs> he saw him. He said, but he said, oh, I know your remedy. <laughs> now I know your remedy. <laughs> he said, I gave him Hayosi Amos, and finally I got him better. You know, he was trying to cure him with different other remedies. It was not possible. <laughs> the little ones are going out now. <laughs> this is too much. Um, <laughs> That's why I don't allow little ones here in the class. <laughs> These things, and the Hayosiamos, they say, they say, why you take it out? Because in a, in a case where you will see real insanity, eh, they will expose constantly this, that they feel as if they cannot have something on, on the skin, on the skin. So they take out, they take out. Woman, you take the case of a Hayesiamos woman, eh? She's sitting there, you sit here. <laughs> you know, some women, they sit relaxed, let us say, relaxed. <laughs> In which case, they can expose a little bit more than necessary. Now the Hayosiamos woman, <laughs> she will sit there and it's very hot, warm, and she will pick up and she will. <laughs> she, she will make, you know, very. How can I say? As if nothing, it's, happens. nothing happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> but just, well, the difference is very hot. <laughs> <laughs> she, eh? shameless. shameless. No, it was not uh, the word, but shameless also. She shameless, and uh, also uh, there is a tendency of uh, usually even the children, they they grasp, they grasp, they hold their genitalia. <laughs> they they sleep and they hold their genitalia. They go. They put their hands inside all the time, <laughs> all the genitalia. <laughs> it's very interesting that when Hayosiamos gets into a state of grief, of, I mean, they are withdrawn inside them, 
and there are no emotions. The emotions are like wood, not steel, which becomes in orum, like wood. I have a wood inside. It's not as heavy as orum depression, but it is almost no emotions. They can communicate, they can talk, they can say things, but they feel nothing. They feel nothing. It is a blockage. It's a, and you see jealousy. Jealousy comes and overtakes them from here. They feel jealousy, <coughs> tremendous jealousy. And they feel here. <coughs> and then this <coughs> cuts the emotion. There is a kind of, I don't know how this happens in a kind of, uh, how can I, anatomical or physiological. Uh, I, ca I cannot know the physiology of that thing. Why these feelings here with jealousy will cut out the emotions. But this is what happens with Hayosiamos. They lose the idea, they, they lose the feelings, they lose the, uh, the idea of life. Eh? It's not life anymore. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. The, the, there, there is, and then in order to stimulate themselves sexually, they have to play with the genital, to play with this, to expose the person, to do all these kinds of things, etc., etc. The um, idea is that uh, uh, they play with their own genitalia, they use words, swear in words, which is the another remedy which likes to use swear words. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Remember something like from A comes, anacardium, anacardium, swear words. Hayosiamos, words, swear words which are connected with sex, with with fishes, stool, urine, things like that. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> this, this is desire to kill. And many times, people that have confessed to me, oh yes, I have desire to kill. <coughs> Did you ever try? No. They do not try. Eh? very frequently, <laughs> otherwise we have a problem. <laughs> but uh, the desire is there. The desire, there are a lot of remedies which have that. Platina has that and uh, heparin sulfur, as I said, has that. But for Hyosiamos is quite strong. 